years ago, and they'd still be kicking around now. And like, with, but you know, with a second wind almost. I think you know, basically, we, you know, we've been doing sort of experimental music now for such a long time. It's it's kind of, you know, I don't even think about it. I mean, basically, each time we make a record, hopefully it'll be something different. And, you know, I'm sure that, that somewhere, you know, people will pick up on it or they won't, as the case may be. And, you know, it's it, that sort of... We try not to worry too much about, about you know, sort of things like that at all. Yeah, we, don't, we don't really dwell on it in that way. We don't say, oh, we're trying to achieve this certain thing or it's like this, we represent one kind of music that goes away. We just, it's very eclectic, really, you know. And obviously, the reason we still do it is because we're still into, we're still into music and, you know, there's, there's been periods that have kicked off, like, you know, like Rich said, the sort of 87, 88 hours thing. But it's a big, you know, it ha again, it, it kind of keeps you, keep things like that keep you going. You're still influenced by things. And I suppose we'll always be a bit peculiar or a bit left field, and it's, but it's, we're always kind of like an interpretation of what's going on. So you know, when, when something like that comes along, it kind of makes music seem interesting again, you know what I mean? It's like someone rewrites the script all together and then we're still, you know, living with the implications of that sort of, you know, four years later. So obviously something else will come along and sort of wipe all that away pretty soon. <laughs>